Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to debug JavaScript files at the application level. If you have worked before IP 2014, uh, you might have come across a file called postload.js that, that can be reused across all the views in the application. And you can have your custom logic after the view is loaded. But after IP 2014 and 15, the file gets loaded but you won't be able to find that file in sources in the F12 window of the browser. So this is the sources location and you will not be able to see the actual file here. For example, for this application, I have added one custom postload uh, JS file and it's in Siebel custom folder and the Siebel custom folder is not getting loaded here. So, but the file is getting loaded. It is not showing up in the sources. I know that the file is getting loaded because when I go to network tab and I search for the files that are getting loaded, I see my file is getting loaded, but it is not a JavaScript file. It is getting loaded as a XHR request. XHR uh, stands for XML HTTP request and it is not recognized uh, in the sources here directly. So what if I want to debug this particular file? I don't see it in the sources. I'll not be able to, uh, I'll not be able to have a breakpoint on the JavaScript file here. So it's harder uh, for new people to uh, look up this file in the sources and put a breakpoint and see what what's going on on the code. So for this, we have two ways of uh, debugging this. So I have opened the file here. If you want to debug uh, anywhere in the code, you can use this word called debugger. And if you have your F12 window open when the view when the file loads it automatically stops at this point. So this is one way of debugging. So let me reload and show you. So you see the breakpoint stops here. And you see the file name as VM something, a number. This number changes every time. So it's better to put this keyword wherever you want to check the, um, have a check or have a breakpoint and you can proceed with your code. This is one way of doing it. Other easier ways to have a source URL. So at the end of the file, add this line saying source URL is custom post load dot JS and you don't have to have it have the debugger so I'm going to reload the application So if I open the sources, there is uh, one folder that's pointing to my local host and I see one more folder that's called no domain and in it I can see this custom postload.js now after adding the source URL at the end of the file. So this is easier way to debug and I can have a debug point and this debug point gets recorded uh, here in the breakpoints and uh, even though if I reload the application every time the file name doesn't change earlier the file name changes with VM as some number right so the the breakpoint uh, gets lost after it gets reloaded now the breakpoint will not get lost the breakpoint stays in here with this file reference and uh, this is an easiest way to debug 
postload.js and plugin wrapper files uh, that are associated to the application from uh, manifest entries like this platform independent and platform dependent entries so it's not just these files uh, that you see in the sources there are many other files that get loaded as XHR request to our application so these are some files so you can see all the files that are getting loaded from XHR requests here so I hope this helped you this helps you in uh, understanding uh, debugging of different JS files different types of files thank you